What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode we're going to be taking a look at Artboard Studio's newest feature called Animation and it does exactly what you think it would do. Now you can create all those beautiful mock-ups inside of Artboard Studio just like you could before but now bring them to life using really detailed timeline animation, be able to animate every single element on your canvas as well as bring in animated assets and export everything as movie files and animated GIFs. It's like using After Effects without having to use After Effects. Let's do it. All right, let's jump right into Artboard Studio. I'm on my desktop, I'm on the dashboard of Artboard Studio, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit start with a template. And I'm gonna drill down to the digital mockups like so, and you can see some of these templates already have animated assets as a part of them. Others don't, but the little purple tag of animated uh, will denote that it already has some of those things going on. So we don't want something that's already animated. I wanna animate something from scratch and see how it looks. So why don't we do this one down here? I'm gonna go ahead and hit this app UI UX iPhone mock-up and it's gonna load it right there inside of Artboard Studio. Um, obviously the first thing we wanna do is we wanna replace the artwork in these with our own artwork. I happen to have some assets already uploaded. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to understand that not only can you animate things, but you can also bring in video clips, GIF, like different animation assets that you already have. So I'm going to go to my private assets and you can see that I actually already have a movie file, like a legit MP4 that I downloaded some free stock photography or free stock video. You can see it even moving inside of the preview. And then I'm going to bring it out here onto my stage or onto my canvas. I'm going to drag it below. And I'm just gonna stretch this thing out and get it to be full width. And you can see when we do that, I brought in some sort of animated element. Um, it actually went ahead and opened up my timeline down below. I can close it by clicking the timeline there or by hitting animation in the top right hand corner, our little purple animation button. What is it doing right now? It's processing the film. It's rendering the footage that's already there. And that footage is, it's gonna be like amazing looking. It's gonna be awesome. So here's, here's what I wanna do. I also want to change, let me just take my video layer and hide that real quick. I wanna change the background of my canvas. I don't want a linear, linear gradient. I just want like a solid white color or maybe I'll even use my color picker and I'll pick like a nice blue color in here. Something like that, okay? One thing to note about Artboard Studio's animation feature is that it's timeline-based animation. That means that you can actually dictate and manipulate every single thing that has to do with how it animates. How long does it delay? How long will it last? What's the easing type? Uh, will it move from this place to that place and then to this place? It's not simple A to B, it's A to B and whatever you want in between. If you've ever used something like After Effects or Premiere Pro or Final Cut or Motion, anything like that, this is gonna be very, very similar to that. It's really, really easy to use. Let me show you how. Once we have our assets on the canvas, I can drag this timeline animation portion up. It's gonna shrink down what's happening on my canvas. And then I can actually click on each of the individual elements. I can click here in the timeline or up here still in the layers panel, and it's going to access it down on the timeline anyways. What we can do is we can move this thing off canvas. We can add a start point, and then we can move the, this ahead Maybe let's do one full second, right there at about one second, and then we're just gonna move it into place, okay? We're gonna do the same thing with this other one. We're going to move it off canvas and add a start point. Okay, so the start point is there, and then we should just move it into place like so. Okay, now you can see in my timeline, if I hit the little arrow and drop down all the different elements that have to do with my animation, you can see I'm currently affecting the X and Y position of both of these phones that are on the screen, and I've set an easing type immediately, instantly, to that element. What we can do here is we see the animation, the easing is linear. It's literally just moving at a steady pace, and we can change that easing to be something else, like maybe ease in, out, for that one, and then this one down here, we can change it to something else, like uh, maybe bounce. Let's try bounce on one of them and see what that looks like. And we can play it and see what it looks like. 
Sure enough, it bounces, and that might be a little bit insane. So there's lots of different easing types in here, and you can play with them and figure out which ones you like, and something like that might work a little bit better. All right, now that we have our animation, let's add another element, like some simple text. Um, and what we want to do is just animate those pieces in as well. Okay, so again, here, here's our thing. Why don't we just take these and give our surf app a starting point that's actually off canvas and move that thing in right there and bring it into view the way we want to. Same thing with our download now. We're going to give it a start point, which will actually be off canvas and bring it into view with the rest of the elements. Why don't we really quickly uh, come over here and make sure that our download now is off canvas, add a little bit of a delay and see what that looks like. It's a little bit delayed and then it pops onto screen. Now we can twirl this down and make sure that we like the easing on all of these elements. No problem, let's just keep repeating our animation, see what that looks like. Pretty cool. I'm digging it. Now the coolest part about this whole thing is once it's done and I'm, I like how my animation looks, I can go ahead and export my animation simply by clicking right here. Now you don't have to jump into a video uh, editing software. You don't have to render anything. You literally just hit make my animation and somehow through dark magic, it does it all in the browser and there it is waiting for you. Now it's done and it's ready to download. So we can just click right here download our animation, and that's ready to be used anywhere we want. We can also change the format here in the top right hand corner from a uh, WebM video to an MP4, a .mov, or even an animated GIF. So we can go ahead and convert that to a GIF. It's processing, doing all that work for us in one easy to use place. Super amazing, like super fun stuff. Well, that's it. That's the animation feature inside of Artboard Studio. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do tons of videos about design and development and product reviews just like this one, so maybe stick around. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comment section and check the description for some helpful links. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. I hope you're making amazing things, and I hope you are animating some cool stuff. I'll see you in the next one.